tonight we are going to be studying the life of Miriam, the sister of Moses. And we want to use this life to pray for our children. In Exodus chapter 2 verse 1 to 10, we already know the story. It tells us the story of how Moses was born. And the mother of Moses, Jacob, could not, uh, you know, started taking care of him at first. Three months into taking care of him, he, she discovered that she can no longer keep this baby. Because it was a command that nobody should keep, especially the male ones. And so she sent this baby and put the baby in the river. And um, it's interesting to know that it was the sister of Moses that the Bible says was there. And I will read from verse 3. And she could no longer hide him. She took for him an ark of bulrushes and dabbed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flats by the river's brink. Now verse 4. And his sister stood afar off. And we are going to pray about that because there's something I'm driving at tonight. And his sister stood afar off to wait what will be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river and her maidens walk along by the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she opened it, she saw the child and behold, the baby wept. And she had compassion on him and said, this one is, is one of the Hebrews children. They said his sister, they said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away, nurse it for, nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter. And she became her son, and she called his name Moses, and said, Because I drew him out of water. Okay, simply that was the story of Moses. But there's something I'm trying to dry at there. That the lady that we called Miriam did not surface, or the Bible did not tell us his name from the beginning. Her name was not mentioned in that story. We are the one that assumed, we assumed that it was Miriam, but the Bible never mentioned her name. Her name was not mentioned until when we go to Exodus chapter 15, verse 20 to 21, when she led the women in singing and dancing, playing tambourine or drum. So I looked at this lady and I saw that growing up, her brilliance was not celebrated. Extremely celebrated. I mean, extremely brilliant. But she was not celebrated. Look at what happened in the story that I read to you. How many kids of that time were the Israelites have become slaves to the Egyptians. How many kids of her age, even at that time, we have the gut to stand up to the princess of their time? Somebody that when she's coming, everybody will start clearing off the road. But she stood and she said, can I help you? Uh -uh. She was supposed to be helped. But she was the one asking the princess, can I help you go and look for a nurse? That was huge. The fact that the Bible says, and her sister stood afar off, how many kids can do that? Very bold. V very outspoken. The brilliance that she uh, demonstrated the intelligence she demonstrated, the smartness that she demonstrated was just too much. However, all this was not celebrated growing up. Why? Number one, her environment. The environment she was in 
does not celebrate her talent, her brilliance, her smartness. It just doesn't tolerate it. Does not celebrate it. They don't even believe that she existed. Number two, the power of darkness was just too thick in the atmosphere. It was sitting on her brilliance, sitting on her giftings that she did not exhibit. She exhibited it, but it was not applauded. Tonight you will pray because I want you to pray for your children even as I'm going to pray for my children. Father, let heaven celebrate my children's achievement and brilliance. Every child have a gift. Every child is a star. Lord, let heaven celebrate my children's star, my children's achievement, my children's brilliance. In the mighty name of Jesus, let heaven celebrate them. In the mighty name of Jesus, do you know that even we parents, we hardly celebrate them? We are quick to judge. We are quick to correct them. We are quick to admonish them. But we hardly celebrate them. Tonight you will pray. Lord Jesus, I pray, O God, uh, concerning Jesus, Femi, concerning Ifeolua, let heaven celebrate them. Let heaven celebrate their achievements. Let heaven celebrate their brilliance. Let heaven celebrate their giftings. In the mighty name of Jesus, let their star be celebrated. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, don't just listen to me. I want you to open your mouth and pray for your own. I pray for my own. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masukata Yagaboshkata. Heaven celebrate my children's achievements. Heaven celebrate my children's uh, brilliance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heaven celebrate my children's talent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There are so many Oprahs. On this planet at only one is being celebrated you don't pray it I hope you get it you are going to pray again father announce my children beyond their locality in the mighty name of Jesus announce my children beyond their locality in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I pray tonight that you will announce my children beyond their locality in the name of Jesus beyond their environment in the mighty name of Jesus announce my children Lord positively announce my children positively in the name of Jesus announce my children gloriously beyond their locality beyond their classroom beyond their school Lord Jehovah I pray that you will announce, announce my children Lord Lord Almighty positively gloriously in the name of Jesus beyond their their locality in the mighty name of Jesus. Masutaka brali kasukandi leketeke mosuzuta yaka boshete in the mighty name of Jesus. Masukende leke boshete de 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 roba kasokonto li kamo in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. You are going to pray yourself. Lord, grant me the grace to celebrate my children's positives more than negatives in the name of jesus look at the life of miriam as a child there are so many things that are not making parents to celebrate the strength of their children can you blame jokebed can you blame jokebed all her focus was on her baby moses just because you are carrying one, they are not, the other one is being neglected. Can you imagine the work she's doing? The husband at all, we, can, we, didn't, even hear us, we didn't even hear him say a word. At least we, we could hear our few joke bed. Because the system does not permit it. You will have to choose. Willingly. Calculatedly. Consciously. Be prepared to celebrate them. Because no Pharaoh is ready to celebrate any Miriam. As a matter of fact, they don't even think they, are, they exist. 
you will pray. Lord, grant me the grace. Grant me the grace, O oh God, to celebrate my children's strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take away argument and uh, complaints from my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help each and every one of us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are going to pray again. You will save powers of locality, powers in the environment of my children that is disregarding my children's brilliance. Today, I destroy such power. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are powers that are disregarding them. The powers may be from their teacher. The powers may be from their boss. But whatever power in their environment that is disregarding their brilliance, their effort, disregarding their labor, pushing down their talents, disregarding their giftings, pushing down their stars, tonight that power, we waste them tonight. We destroy them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, as mothers we come together and we come against the powers uh, that says our children will not rise. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bury such powers that says in our children will not be allowed to shine. We destroy such power in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The powers of Masutoko brali katoko baya that refuses to allow our children to rise or to shine in the name of Jesus. Tonight we bury such powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Ekotoko brali kasakanda ya in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you about Miriam. Miriam was such a brilliant girl growing up. In fact, Miriam was the first prophet. Miriam was a singer. All of this loaded in one woman. The first prophet in Israel. She was a singer. That song that we still sing today. The horse and his, and his rider has a thrown into the sea. It was composed by Miriam. She was a singer. Miriam was a songwriter. Miriam was very outspoken. If she was not outspoken, how could she meet face to face with the princess of Pharaoh and negotiate with her? Like I asked with her, can I go and help you to find a nurse for the baby? How many of her age mates, when you share little things with them, they will, ah, she will have forgotten you. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Somebody is carrying the baby. Is it okay? Should I let the princess take it or not? You can keep information with Miriam and she knows how to handle it well. Ah, Kai, look at this kind of child. Very outspoken. Miriam had heart for people. In fact, do you know that Miriam was loved by people? Because Numbers chapter 12 verse 15, the Bible says, when Miriam was covered with leprosy, when she sinned against the anointed and was covered with leprosy, the Bible says that the children of Israel could not move forward. They could not continue their journey until when she was brought back home. That's powerful. Miriam was the first to inaugurate all these performances that you are seeing today. Uh, musical concert, uh, this one. That one. Miriam was the first to, to do that. She was the first to do that in Israel. Do you know? Even though as a prophetess, she was the only woman that was never addressed as a wife or as a mother. As a wife or as a mother. She was not. She was not addressed as a wife 
or as a mother. She has a lot of qualities and I'm going somewhere. So she has a lot of strength. A lot of strength. The Bible recorded that she spoke against Moses. And um, the Lord rebuked her and Aaron. And she was punished by God. She became leprous. Moses pleaded with God on behalf of Miriam. And as a result of that, she was sent out of the camp for seven days. And since Miriam returned to the camp, she never spoke. Miriam never speaks and she was not spoken to. As a matter of fact, she just disappeared until the announcement of her death. We did not hear of her again since she returned to the camp. I'm going somewhere and we want to, uh, we will pray. So studying the life of Miriam, I saw a promising girl. Very brilliant, very bold, very courageous, very nurturing. You know, she has a lot of strength. But my point tonight, beloved, mothers, is the question that I want to ask you. What killed Miriam at the horizon of the fulfillment of her destiny? What killed Miriam? At the horizon of the fulfillment of her destiny, it was mouth. N mouth. M O U T H. Mouth. The same strength that she had that brought her to excellence, that brought her to manifestation. Is it not amazing? That is the same strength that brought her down. And that is why we need to pray. It's very amazing how the same mouth that was a point of sale for excellence or that promoted her excellence was the same mouth that killed her glory while she was at the peak of it. She cared so much about Moses so when she was little. At the peak of her excellence. Again, it was the same mouth that she used to speak against the anointing upon this same Moses. And left her condemned for life. But one thing that I know that we are going to do is that we are going to pray very well concerning our children. And so tonight, if you will please take this prayer up very seriously as a matter of urgency as a matter of importance you are going to look into the lives of your children because if you look at Jochebed first of all you look at a woman with three children and all of them they did very well they excel you are going to pray father help me to raise my children well that's the first prayer point Lord, help me to raise my children well in the mighty name of Jesus. Kai, if you are looking for a mother, you should look for Jochebed. Three children and all of them, were they did very well. Lord, help me to raise my children well in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot find failure in the, in the mother, Jochebed. Lord, help me to raise my children well. Help me, my father. Help me, Lord Almighty, to raise my children well. Grant me the grace. Jochebed had three. Miriam, Aaron, and Moses. And all the three were great. Father, Lord, I ask. Lord, help me, O God, that every child that comes out of my womb, every child that came out of my womb, O God, they shall be great. Every child that came out of my womb, they shall be great. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, today I come to settle the case with you. That every child that came out of my womb, they are great in the name of Jesus. Lord Jehovah, make them great. Make them great in the name of Jesus. Every child that comes out of my womb shall be great. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the grace that spoke for Jochebed, 
Let that same grace speak for me in raising these children. The grace that spoke for Jochebed, let that same grace speak for me as I raise these children. In the mighty name of Jesus, there was an exceptional grace that spoke for Jochebed that helped her to raise these children well. Ah, Lord, I ask. Lord, I ask for this grace. Let this grace speak for me. Let this grace speak for me. In a strange land, it spoke for Jochebed. I hope you know that Jochebed was not in, in, in Canaan. She was not in Canaan. She was not in the land flowing with milk and honey. She was in the land of, in the land of Egypt. Where Brisope was the order of the day. Yet the Bible makes us to realize that these children became great. May our children be great in life. Father, give us the grace. Grant us the grace, O God. The grace, mighty Father. To be able, Lord, to raise these children well. The grace that spoke for Jacob, that Lord Jehovah, let that grace speak for us in raising these children. Let that grace, Lord, cover us. Let that grace, O God, carry us. Let the grace speak for us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. You are going to pray, Father, let the talent of my children expose them to the top. In the name of Jesus. Let the talent of my children. Let it get them to the top. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every child. Has a talent. Children are born as stars. Not every star shines. Children are born as stars. But not every star shines. Lord we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Let the talents of my children. Expose them to the top. Let it take them to the top. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like I told you, the, all the brilliance and the excellence and, and, and the greatness of this child did not matter in Egypt. It did not. Look at what happened. See the way she brilliantly did a good job in Exodus chapter 2. From Exodus chapter 2, nothing showed up until she got to Exodus chapter 15. Ah, Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Because between Exodus chapter 2 and Exodus chapter 15, a lot had happened. A lot. Had, it's not like every day. It's not, it's not 12 days in between. A lot had happened. See the time that our glory began to shine. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May the glory of our children shine. May their talents bring them to the top. In the mighty name of Jesus. May their skills in the name of Jesus expose them to the top. May it bring them, Lord, before kings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masutonko brali kataya gabo shetenda. Marika taka bo suzote kebo shetenda ye. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We are going to pray now. Let my children not take their giftings for granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Ah, let my children not take their giftings for granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let my children not take their giftings for granted. And I have a word for somebody. It doesn't matter if it is Jesus or anyone. The Bible says, the first, the, the, the Bible told us that the first miracle that Jesus will, will, will perform, it was at the marriage in Cana of Galilee. Even Jesus didn't want to do anything. He said, woman, leave me alone. My time is not yet come. My time is not yet come. But what better time did Jesus had? If thank God for a mother who recognizes that this is the moment, this is the time. And celebrated it. Lord, I pray. Let my children not take their giftings for granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them not take it for granted, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray again? Father, let my children not use their giftings to glorify the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will not use it to glorify the enemy. They will not use it to glorify the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. My children will use their giftings to glorify God. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will use their grace. They will use it to glorify God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray this for all our children. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. You are going to pray right now. You are going to say. At the rising of my children. The enemy shall not be able to interject their rising. At their rising. 
Lord, the enemy will not be able to interject it in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy will not be able to interject it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Kamo Sutanga Rikala Yabasuzo, at the rising of my children, oh God, the enemy will not be able to interject it in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, mighty Father, Lekemo Sukanda Yakamushka. That as my children are rising, O God, Masutoko Brali Kasuzo, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power of darkness that may want to militate them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masutoko Brali Kata, I pray for all our children, that at the rising of our children, the enemy shall not be able to interject their rising. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You want to pray with me now? That at the peak of the arising, at the peak of the rising of our children, Lord, you will shield them. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will shield them. They shall not offend you. And the devil will not be able to interject or intercept them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jehovah, we pray, Lord, for our children that at the peak of the arising, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah, you will surround them. You will shield them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, we pray that our children will not offend you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the devil will not be able to, to gainsay over them, over their lives, over their achievements, over their glory, over their star. In the name of Jesus. Over their destiny. The enemy will not be able to gainsay. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Masutoko bo shekete ke morigala yabasatanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.